Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Art Whisperer 88. Uh, this is a continuation of my series with my large format gel plate. And on your screen, uh, you'll see my sketch pad. And I have laid out very roughly the uh, design of this print. And um, keep in mind, this is going to be reverse when it uh, gets printed. So I have the large elements here on the left side. And the same thing with some fine lines and then some uh, scribbled circles on the right side. So once this gets printed, it will be in the reverse. Uh, in other words, it's going to be a mirror image. So anyway, um, so I'm just going to follow this roughly. It's, it's really a very rough sketch. So there may be some changes along the way because uh, that's the nature of the art process. So um, for this print, I'll be using some light blue, artist loft and some green gray and some of this green gold so these are fairly light colors for a background so in this way it will contrast well with the uh, black marker pens so i'm going to start with a horizontal line like so and then the larger the larger circle and then you have a smaller circle Then, this is an example of uh, changing my mind. I'm going to have the fine lines on this side instead. And uh, as I mentioned before, since the plate is very supple and very springy I can't uh, draw this too quickly otherwise the ink is not going to take then I'm going to put some circles and these may not transfer perfectly but that's that's okay that's the whole point in creating an imprint Yeah. So uh, I'll let this dry for maybe like five minutes because these are alcohol based. These should dry rapidly. And then I will commence uh, charging the plate with a very thin layer of these colors, uh, these colors that I had shown you. 
Okay. So uh, I will be right back. Okay, it's been a few minutes. I will start with this light blue. And, and I have to keep in mind that this is quite watery. Uh, I had diluted this a lot because I wanted to make use of the rest of the contents of the bottle. And I'm going to have this green gold down here in the bottom. Also, I did add some water to dilute it because it's almost finished. So, um, let's see what we get. Now, since it was diluted with water, I will probably get the same effect, um, this blotchy effect. Maybe not as much as the other time, but we'll see what happens. Okay. I saved these. I saved these uh, bubble wrap packaging because they do have an interesting texture. And uh, <clears throat> my old one is pretty beat up because it's been used repeatedly. So I figure time to use a new one. Just press really lightly. And you get like these really cool perforations. This I don't need a uh, fancy or expensive uh, tool to make these textures. I'd rather use uh, found objects. Then again, I'm going to make some marks. get like a box of chocolates as the saying goes
And since there is a layer of marker pen on the on the beginning layer, I'm going to leave this on for a little bit, maybe like 10-15 minutes, just to make sure that the the lines that I had drawn, I want them to transfer as much as possible. So through the magic of editing, I can speed up the process. And I have to apologize also if I sound congested. I have a very bad allergy today. And uh, I think one of my viewers made a comment that uh, maybe my mic is too close to my nose. Uh, actually, um, when I have an allergy, I tend to gasp a little bit. So I hope this is not too objectionable. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Let's see what we got. This is always the exciting part. Okay, I think this has transferred very well. Now there are some rugged edges, but that adds to the uh, interest of the print. And I can see there's a lot of ghost images left. Okay, very cool. I like the interplay of the pen markings and the rapid gesture of the uh, stick that I used. So uh, I'm quite happy with this result uh, for a first pull that I'm able to create uh, more or less a compl complex uh, image with just one pull. And I'm going to let this dry and then see if I can add some more elements, if I need to place this on the plate again, or just go ahead and apply collage on it. So I'll be right back. Don't go away. Okay, I'm back from a short break. Uh, the print has dried completely. And uh, what I plan to do is place some bright orange here on the border. And I'm going to use a small, a smaller brayer. And uh, this is fairly watery. Um, let me just take out this dried out paint. And place it on the edge here. And then I have some
then maybe some cadmium red. Now this is a much thicker paint. I'm not going to use that much. This is just to add some contrast to the predominantly blue and green uh, color scheme. Okay. Again, uh, as a refresher, here is the print with the uh, blue-green background, and, go and I'm going to apply the highlights here for contrast. see what we get. Okay, now hopefully this will have a good transfer. Yep. Gives a nice little uh, contrast to the blue and green. So um, I'm happy with this. So this needs to dry for a few minutes and then I will maybe apply very little pieces of collage to complete the image. So uh, again, I'm going to take a short break and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back from a break, and as usual, the uh, paint has dried very nicely. And uh, I have here some uh, scraps of some copy paper that I had used. And I thought this might be interesting to put here. Um, again, this is some uh, copy paper with some uh, paint on it. This is from a stencil that I had cut up and reused. And I thought maybe we'll work here. 
and this piece I think will look good here. So I'm going to go ahead and mount this like so. And this one right here. This is taking a while to uh, soften up. And this piece here on the corner. Sometimes the best tools are your fingers. Just make sure the uh, corners don't curl up. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. I just have to watch this because it seems to be curling up. There we go. So I think I'm going to call this piece done. Uh, it's one of my more complex pieces with a lot of colors and lines and uh, I'm gonna show you the detail. I do particularly like the detail of the uh, bubble wrap. And the combination of colors so uh, once more, I thank you for watching and please leave your comments and suggestions and I do hope to see you next time.